Horn and welcome to Spiritual Wellness Tarot. I'm so grateful and I thank you for stopping by for your November reading. Now this is an overall energy reading for the month of November. So take what resonates with you and leave what does not behind. Now um, also remember to check out your sun, moon, and rising signs so you can get the overall energy for this month. So we'll go ahead. We've got the ten, uh, or the wheel, actually. We've got the two of water, and we've got the knight of earth. Okay, Capricorn, great start, right? We like to start with that wheel. Good fortune, progress coming on, you know. it's um, And then we've got the two of waters, um, which is, you know, all about decision making, right? Um, we've got the page of cups here. Let's see what else comes out here. And then, of course, the Knight of Earth. Whoop, we got, okay, we got Justice. Very nice. All right, and one more. Go ahead and see what else we've got that can come on out here. Time to buckle down maybe this month. Let's see here. And the Ten of Pentacles. Very nice, right? Very, very nice with the... With the wheel there. All right. And then let's get our overall energy. We can get started on this reading. Angels and spirit guides, what's the overall energy that Capricorn needs to know for the month of November? What is the overall energy? It's just one card, please. Let's see what, there we go. Thank you so very much. Oh, they actually gave me two. Well, let's see what we've got here. First one is, I forgive. Allow the labels of judgment to disappear. See the situations and individuals through your heart. Forgive yourself. Second one is, I am present. Allow your mind to clear and let, your no or let the noise of your thoughts fall away. Listen to your intuition. Right? So it's going to be the month of November. It looks like you're going to get some clarity going on here you're going to go ahead and forgive yourself maybe forgive somebody that's in a situation that that's really been bothering you so you can go ahead and be in the present right because we need to we need to release if we're mad at somebody if we're, we're you know if we need to forgive somebody we need to release that energy so you can work in the future right and work in the present which is what all we you know what we all want to do so it might be that you need to work on opening your heart chakra, right? Or it might be that you need to go ahead and um, work on your third eye by, by being present. Definitely. Well, let's dive into the cards here and see what we have. So the first, the first two cards we have here is the wheel, right? All about good fortune, right? He's there. He's time for a positive change. So Capricorn, it might be something coming up with you, um, that's going to be a positive change. Maybe you'll have a, a um, new love, right? Or maybe you'll have a new job come up or a promotion come up, right? A situation suddenly is going to go ahead and move you forward. It's going to propel you forward with this, with this wheel of fortune. And then to have this page of cups with it, you know, all about, you know, a new love, all about new work. So this works perfectly together, right? Because you're going to have, you're going to propel forward. You're going to move forward. See how he's, I mean, look at this cute little guy here, right? He's got his paintbrush. He's ready to be intuitive or he's ready to be um, working. He's ready to have some, just some new changes in life, right? And it looks like that's what's, that's what's going to happen with you, um, Capricorn, through this month of November. All right, next we have the Two of Water, which is Two of Cups, right? And so he's all about a romantic love partnership, you know? So if this is, you know, if you do have a new love coming in, it's going to go ahead and be a positive, a positive thing, right? It might also be that you have, you know, that, that there's two of you that, um, you know, if it's work-related, could be two of you are kind of button heads, but you need to go ahead and work it out, right? You need to go ahead and forgive and then be in the present, right? And it could same be for the love life, right? If two of you are button heads, you know, maybe it's time for you to listen, time to open up your heart, right? And then go ahead and be in the present. Open up your heart to forgive and be in the present. And of course, this justice is telling us just that, right? 
open up, listen. If somebody has, you know, if you have a beef with somebody or somebody has a beef with you, listen to them, right? Listen to see what they have to say. Because sometimes we don't, we could get into the position of, I'm not going to listen anymore, right? Just talk to the hand, right? Talk to the hand. And, um, and we don't want to be like that, you guys. We want to go ahead and be open because if we can't forgive and we cannot let go, we can't move forward, right? We can't be in the presence. So with this justice card here, we just want equality, right? We want to listen. We want the truth to come out, whether it's, um, you know, whether this is with a loved one or if it's with work related, right? Um, we want the truth to come out so we can listen, we can forgive, and we can be in the present, right? Because look what's, look what's in forward for us for the present. This is just fabulous, right? We've got the, we've got the, the Knight of Earth, which is pentacles, right? So he's a reliable person. He's hardworking. He's trustworthy, right? But he also, he, he, he sits back a little bit, right? He watches. He's very, very patient, right? And so it's time to maybe buckle down, get things done, right? And, and honor your commitments, right? Honor, honor whatever is going on, you know, honor the, the, um, Oh gosh, what these people have to say if this is a, if this is a decision. Honor their decision, what they have to say and and realize that it may not be what you want, right? Because it's not always what we want, want. But if we're looking through our heart and we're looking through our third eye, we're going to go ahead and be able to forgive. Now, here's here's one thing. You don't necessarily have to agree to forgive. Right? I'm going to say that again. You don't necessarily have to agree to forgive. Okay? So, so think about that. But, you know, sometimes if there's, if there's an argument and you just don't agree, you can, you can realize, you know what? We're, we're button heads. We're not going to go anywhere, right? We're just not going to go. So I forgive you for your idea, <laughs> even though it's not mine, right? But what that does is, you guys, is that opens us up. That opens up our hearts so we can be in the present, right? So we have clarity. But then you've got this Ten of Pentacles, whoop, whoop, right? Total love and support, happiness, friendship, right? All about, look, he's so happy. Look at this little, this little um, raccoon dude. He's so happy. He's got his Ten of Pentacles here, right? He's ready to move forward. He's ready to go ahead and have good fortune. Oh, this is beautiful, November, or November <laughs> Capricorn. I'm so excited for you. You're going to have a beautiful, beautiful November. It's going to, it's going to come, it's going to be awakening for you, right? It's going to move you forward into whatever has been holding you back, right? Whatever has been, um, you have not been agreeing with you. If you go ahead and, um, I'm going to shuffle these here. You're going to go ahead and realize that, you know what, and it could be the things that you're, that you're trying to forgive, right, that you're, that you're having a discussion about over here. It could be that, you know, when you sleep on it or when you think about it, it might be that it's time for you to, to look at it. And, and, you know, maybe that person wasn't right or wasn't wrong all the way, right? Maybe he was just being creative and he was just offering a different option that you have. Let's go ahead and clarify this here. So we've got, all right, we've got the Six of Wands. Very nice, right? Victory, good news, leadership. Oh, this is fantastic. Oh, snapperoo. Seven of Pentacles. Nice, right? Patience, hard work. Patience, just like the, just like the knight, right? He's, he's watching his... Um, his work, he's watching his plants grow that he sowed. Oh, snap. Look at that. Snap. Oh, you guys, this is beautiful, Capricorn. Just beautiful. You've got the chariot, right? So the chariot, we all know, is action, journey, right? Time to move forward, which is what the night of Earth is about. Time to move forward. Time to forgive, you guys, and time to be clear, Time to have clarity, time to be in the present, right? Just time to be in the present. So this is a beautiful reading, just beautiful. So we have the wheel, and then we have your pages, and then we have your wands. 
right? You guys are moving forward, right? You have fortune coming to you. It is moving, it is moving forward, and you're going to have some clarity this month. You're gonna have, you're gonna be in the present, right? Which is great, right? We all want to, um, do we all want to and need to be in the present, right? We can live in the future, or I'm sorry, live in the past, but it does no good. You can learn from the past, right? But you need to be present. You need to move forward. This is beautiful. This is just wonderful. Look, you've got one, two, three of the major arcanas. You've got pentacles here. Um, you know, it's, it's just wonderful. Everybody is moving forward here. You know, these guys are having a little discussion, you know, whether it's love or not. But they're having the discussion, and so they all have clarity, right? So they all have clarity. This is wonderful. All right, I'm going to pull another card here. Let's see here and see if we can get a little bit more. Um, this is just kind of a, a fun card. I like these cards. They're brand new. I just got them. And let's see what comes out for. Whoa, we don't want that many, that's for sure. For the month of November for Capricorn. Well, I just made a mess, didn't I? All right. Let's get this one up here. And let's just get one card here to go ahead and go with our reading regarding, uh, you know, being in the present, moving forward. This is beautiful, right? It's going to be an awesome, awesome November for you guys. Fierce serenity. You can see that or not. And what's the, once you have this discussion taken care of and you have forgiven, you have moved forward, you are going to have the fierce serenity. You're going to have serenity. You're going to have clarity. You're going to be moving forward. Right? So serenity is, um, is perfect for this because it's all going to, it's just all going to flow so wonderfully, right? It's all going to flow so wonderfully. So you are moving forward. You are going ahead and getting things um, taken care of, right? All that hard work that you've been doing, is going to go ahead and give you some serenity and get you moving forward. All right, let's go with uh, our little angel whispers here for our affirmation and see what we have here. All right, affirmation is take time out for yourself. I don't know if you can see that there. Take time out for yourself, which is going to give you serenity right? It's going to give you serenity. If you take time out for yourself, once you have this forgiveness taken care of and the clarity put through, you're going to go ahead and have, um, have, have serenity. You're going to have peace. You're going to go ahead and have that, um, you know, that, that clearance that you, that you need, right? To go ahead and accept in that good fortune. It's a turning point, you guys. It's, it's definitely a turning point for you. Now, um, I'm going to go ahead and throw in one love card here, just in case anybody wanted to know what was going on with their love life. Got some new cards here. I just love them. They're beautiful. Angels and spirit guides, what do they need to know about their love life? What does Capricorn need to know about their love life? Let's go ahead and... Balance. Love is not always about green, agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that supports and challenges. And you know what? That's exactly what, what this is saying. You don't have to agree. You can have balance. You can, you can live, just like I said before, right? You don't have to agree all the time, but you can have that balance. You can go ahead and say, okay, I don't agree, but I forgive you for whatever your situation is so I can go on moving forward into the present of, with my life. Oh, this is beautiful November. Oh, November. I keep calling you November, Capricorn. That must mean that it's going to be a beautiful, great November for you, right? It's going to be very enthusiastic. You're going to be full of all kinds of great fortune. And the bottom line is be in the present, right? Forgive what's going on in the past. Forgive what, what somebody is saying, right? Or what job maybe you didn't get, what promotion you didn't get, what lover didn't love you back, right? Forgive them and move forward because you got a lot more 
coming to you. You got a lot, a lot of good, good will coming towards you. Your angels and spirit guides are there for you. Open up your arms and just realize to let them in. All right, Capricorn, I love you all. Namaste.